that's going to apply a lot more intensity and a lot more stimulation into the work and muscle. Hey man, Gary Walker here and welcome back for another video. Now I got a fun video for you today, all right? This video is all about building your arms and at home. Specifically, this is how to build bigger arms at home for men over 40. So what makes it different? The thing about being at home, you do want some kind of lighter dumbbells, all right? If you have heavy dumbbells, fine if you can use them, but just light dumbbells will work because of the two techniques I'm gonna share with you. So this workout's also fairly simplistic. So we're gonna choose two for our triceps, two exercises, and two exercises for biceps. All right, let me show you a quick structure here. The two techniques we're gonna utilize, supersets and slow eccentric, so three seconds. I'll show you what that means here in a minute. You wanna do two to four sets of each of these and then shoot for 12 to 15 repetitions. A little bit higher reps, that's gonna allow you to use lighter weights, but when you add these two intensifiers into it, you're gonna get tremendous results. First one is a superset. If you've been watching any of my videos for a while, you know what a superset is. Basically, it's just back-to-back -back exercises. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with a tricep exercise. As soon as we do our 12 to 15 reps of our tricep, exercise with no rest, I mean, allow five to 10 seconds of rest just long enough to get into the next exercise, that's it. So you're gonna do your triceps, then you're gonna immediately go into a biceps movement. After you've done that first superset, that is one set. You're gonna do that one set, then you're gonna rest 30 seconds, that's it. 30 seconds and you're gonna do set number two, again, back into that tricep exercise, and then immediately into the bicep exercise. After you've done your two to four sets of that first pairing, that first superset, then you'll move on to the next one. So it's as simple as that, all right? Now what I'm talking about with the eccentric, eccentric is when you lower a weight. So for instance, if we're doing a bicep curl, this is concentric. Now the eccentric portion of the movement is lowering the weight. So 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, curl back up. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, curl back up. That's what the three seconds means. Same with a tricep. If we're doing an overhead extension, when you, Bring the weight down, that's lowering the weight. So you're gonna control it, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, push. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, push. All right, so that's what I mean by the eccentric, lowering the weight, and you're doing it under a three second cadence. That's going to apply a lot more intensity and a lot more stimulation into the work and muscle, which is gonna help you build even more muscle with lighter weights, which is the key. All right, so let's get into, let me get some of these lighter weights over here. These are my adjustable dumbbells. Again, it's not gonna take a whole lot of weight. Keep that in mind. The first thing we're gonna do is go onto the floor and we're gonna do a floor skull crusher. So I really like doing skull crushers for triceps. All right, there are two key things I wanna point out here. First, I want you to use a full range of motion when you do these. The second is I want you to initiate your triceps first and you do that by getting the dumbbells here slightly behind your head. If they're directly in front of you here, like if you see them now, they're basically above my chest. There's not a whole lot of tension in my triceps. So the first thing I'm gonna do, activate those triceps by getting the dumbbells behind my head. Now, when I say a full range of motion, I want you to take these down nice and slow and get that full deep stretch and then contract. Tighten them as much as you can. Squeeze those triceps at the top. So again, nice, full, Stretch at the bottom and squeeze them at the top. Let me do a couple more of these so you can see the cadence I like to use. I like to lower under about three seconds, slight pause, press right back up. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, second pause, press back up. Immediately you're gonna go into your bicep exercise. So like I said, five to 10 seconds, that just allows you enough time to get set up. This is gonna be a bicep curl. And we're gonna keep this as a standard supinated curl, meaning we're gonna put palms forward and keep them in that position. Thousand one, two, three. Same thing with the cadence here. Contract, one, two, three. Contract, one. The other thing you'll notice, my elbows are staying pinned to my sides. When I come up, they stay here. And what they're not doing 
is coming forward. And they're not just rocking back and forward. They're pinned to my sides, controlling under three seconds. Pause for that light, that little contraction. Pause, one light second. Traction. Thousand one, two, three. Other one, two, three. All right, so again, you're gonna shoot for your 12 to 15 reps. After you've done your biceps, again, kind of shake it out a little bit. Rest your 30 seconds, and you're gonna get straight back down on the floor and do your skull crushers again. Two to four sets is gonna be determined based on your current fitness level, your fitness and conditioning level. If you're just starting out, you haven't worked out in a while, this is gonna be your first workout. Start with two sets. Two sets, see how you feel. Tomorrow, the second day, are you overly sore or, or are you not sore at all? If you're sore, that's perfect for you. Stay with the two sets for a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks. If you're completely not sore, you get to this workout, you know what, it's way too easy for you. Bump it up to three, bump it up to four. And just make sure you're doing everything under control and you are using weights that are still challenging you. Meaning, if I just did this same setup that I just did, this same superset, and only had five pound dumbbells, it really wouldn't be very beneficial for me. Five pounds isn't enough resistance for some of this stuff. So I do recommend trying to get a little bit heavier weight if you can, or you can even do some banded stuff. So another great home investment. Bands are 25 bucks. Get some bands and that keeps tension on the biceps the whole time or the triceps the whole time. That's the first superset we're gonna do. Now the second superset we're gonna do, we're gonna work the tricep from a different angle. So basically when we're doing the floor skull crushers, this is our arm in relation to my, see my elbows here? Elbow, shoulder, straight from one another, coming straight back, straight out. Now we're gonna bring the elbow up above the shoulder here, and this is gonna be an overhead tricep extension. By bringing this elbow up, you're gonna feel a huge stretch in your triceps. So we're gonna do overhead tricep extensions, and then we're gonna superset that with another variation of a curl, and I'll explain the difference in a minute. Here, you're gonna lift overhead. Nice stretch, get a nice full stretch, and contract it, three seconds. That was a one, two, three, push up. One, two, three, push up. You'll notice the stretch here. Let me let you see the stretch. One, two, three. I like that big stretch and then contract it back up. Three. When you're doing this, keep your core tight. All right, you don't wanna stick your stomach way out there. You don't wanna arch your back too much. Nice, tight and firm core. Help protect your lower back and your spine. All right, so now, as soon as you've done those, 12 to 15 reps, get a breath and immediately go into hammer curls. So again, first one was supinated with their palms straight out. Now our palms are facing each other. Same thing, thousand one, two, three. And same thing with the elbow positioning. Again, elbows are pinned to my side, squeezing. Lower under a three second cadence, squeeze, cadence, and not up like that. The other thing you'll see people do is dip their shoulders down. That shortens the range of motion. Shoulders should be back, chest out, elbows pinned, all biceps. Three seconds. All right, the difference with this, basically when you do a hammer grip movement, you're gonna work this outer portion right here of your biceps. That's gonna allow your bicep to look wider from the front. Most everything else is gonna work this short head. Everything else is gonna work this little ball right on the inside. And a lot of these neglect the outer. So now we're working the brachialis muscle, which is gonna help widen the bicep. So that's why I like incorporating a hammer grip as well. But as you see, four different exercises, really easy to do, just focus on the super setting back to back, limit the rest period, five seconds, 10 at the most between exercises to get the most out of the super set. And then make sure you're focusing on that super slow eccentric, the three seconds 
on the way down. That's gonna be huge, 12 to 15 reps, two to four sets. You can do this a couple times a week and you're gonna get phenomenal results. I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comment section what you think about it after you've done it. I would love to hear your response to the actual workout. With that said, thanks so much for watching and as always, get busy, get after it, and God bless.